Alfonso Ramirez and Micah Burton all making their fifth start in the fifth MLS Next Pro match of the season. But again, the 4-3-3 shape unchanged in that back line. He scored a brilliant goal in the 93rd minute to equalize. Caught it right with the inside of his right foot, scraping it into the back of the net. That made it the equalizer. A match tomorrow on Saturday and a full slate on Sunday. But in the black of Austin FC, they'll be heading from right to left across your screen. And Ventura County in the whites from left to right. Making life difficult in that six yard box. The out swinging corner, it's knotted away. Nothing comes from the first corner between the two sides in the match. Some clever flicks by Torres. They move it out wide, curled into the box. Claimed first touches by Brady Scott. Opportunity between the lines, driving at the defense. Effort blocked, well defended. Sean Karani trying to create the machine, of course, last in the West. It'll be a remarkable turnaround. That's a great turn in the middle of the park. Flipped out by Toure. And he picks out. Capture the title in 22. Good slide across the pass forward, trying to pick out Pino. The switch, they pick out an open player. Two in black defending. Karani couldn't get by. Get past the challenge, the opportunity to switch play, it works out. Good route to the midfield, but it's a clean challenge. B-boot wins it back, there's a few forward in the attack, slides it out to the right-hand side. The low effort is saved and fallen upon. Strong effort by Vivi, but it's good working goal by Marcus Alstrup. First shot on target, and number stretched. And it's again Vivi on the right-hand side if he can get onto it. He may try and turn provider. He stands it up for the back post. It's knotted down. B-boot, oh, just over. Two chances in great succession. Things beginning to open up for Ventura County. Mm -hmm. Left-hand side, one-on-one -on -one with Miller. Onto the right foot, back heel, and a bit of space across the box. It sits up perfectly, and there's the opening goal. Sebastian Pino in the right place at the right time. Landed right in his gut. He made no mistake about it. Lead. But they know how quickly these things can change in the sport. They take the ball off. Great turn. And that's actually be the first card of our match going the way of for Granis, he's frustrated about it, but the center back will have to be careful moving forward. He's the first player cautioned in today's match. The foul. Torres just turning past for Granis, and you can argue the pass before the pass that led to the goal. Curled into the box, almost headed towards goal. That hit a hand. They're appealing for it, but it bounced kindly. Farcarloon tried to put a shot on goal, anyways, and that one was always tough to put towards goal, and actually it may have been offsides. Poor pass, taken over, Pino gets on to the end of it, and he capitalizes again. A first half brace for Sebastian Pino. It's a fantastic start for Austin FC too. Coming out of nothing. It's a poor pass from Miller. It's miscommunication. Pino there to capitalize and take full advantage. That play has been very lively in winning these second balls, though, and he's on it now. Plays it out. Fired. That one's just wide a goal. Vivi was always going to have a tough time of it trying to put it on frame. Tracking back, trying to put in a shift defensively, but it's knocked up field by Austin. That will do it for our first 45 minutes. Looking for their first home win of 2024, Austin R. The MLS next pro season. No subs for either side. Eligio Aragin whistles us for the start of our second 45 minutes in the white kits. It was a big win against what was then LA Galaxy 2. Pino brought down, and that will be a foul, and that will be a yellow card, a quick caution given Karani. Yellow card worthy. You can see it. Definitely there, there's a chance to break. Good movement through the middle of the park. Pino 
on the hat trick, and that one's agonizingly wide. And they get play going so quickly, we can't even show you another look at that one. What a sequence there. That's going to be a foul and a yellow card given. Sheikh Toure becomes the first player for Austin booked. Whipped forward, doesn't beat the first defending player. Nodded down casually by Parente. Lepley. Parente making the run, but VV checks it back. His attempted ball into the box, blocked out of play. Corner kick to come now. Corner kick now, curled in. It's actually going to be a foul going against Ventura County. Couldn't quite see where it was whistled for, but the result in the end is the same as a free kick for Ventura County. So there has been some tweaks as Iberhanga falls to the ground middle of the park. A few players slipping and sliding. It's Ventura County on the attack. Cut on to the left foot. That one's just sliced wide, but that was dangerous from it. They've gotten their four points that they currently have so far this year. It's one back by Ventura County. Put in the box. B boot the target. They just couldn't attack it. First time switch. Farkarloon will track it down. Trying to push past two. Couldn't get past three. He puts a challenge in and it will be a foul. This portion of the broadcast is sponsored by... BB driving this one forward. He's crossing the box, only finds the chest of Marcus Alstrup. Gets ahead to it, bravely just sticks it down. Karani whips this one in, aiming for B-Boot, goes all the way through. VV will get there, he'll keep it in play. Just doubled the insurance. Pino trying to hold up play here. He will actually commit the foul against his opponent. does find a Ventura County player. It sits up kindly and they find the back of the net. Chaotic. But in the end, Aaron Beboot pounds it home. His third of the year. And that halves the deficit for Ventura County. A massive one there. Just pinning around in the box. And just sits up kindly. Once it falls to him like that in the box, you have to imagine it's going to be very hard to imagine any scenario where he doesn't put that in the back of the net. Now Austin, how do they respond to that? They still hold the lead, of course, but it's cut in half. Both of these teams went to shootouts last time out. Toure intercepts the ball, but it was a foul before it was played. Venomous cross into the box by Sean Karani. Good tackle put in, and Ramirez will go into his stride. There's a few numbers forward, included on the left-hand side in Farker Loon. If you make one criticism of Austin's match so far, as that is a foul put in. Long one over the top. Bibut trying to get there, but it'll bounce through VV. Actually, that was offsides. Not sure if it was for Bibu, the original offender, or Vivi was in an offside position when it was touched. But it's Austin who will have the free kick. Pino on the turn. Into our county, of course, two goals to one. Our goal is coming from our strikers. Sebastian Pino with two for Austin, and Bibu with one for Ventura County. An extra white shirt in the wall trying to make life difficult for Marcus Alstrup. From the spot, oh, almost a brilliant free kick by Parente. It would always be a tough one to try and get into the back of the net. Sergio Villalpando coming on in the place of Gino Vivi, who to his standards, four goals this season. We'll get back to that in a moment. Clipped forward, and that one you can see curling just wide. That might have been the first and second touches from Jonathan Santillan. 
Great strength in the middle of the park. Ventura County out to the left-hand side. The effort towards goal. It bounced in front of Alstrip, but he makes a save. Villalpando, the left-footed one. There's four in black to aim for. Deonda, that one did take a deflection. It goes over. Free kick to come. The effort off the crossbar. It bounces away. Nearly a special one. It's still alive. The shot, it's blocked away. Yes. Another look at this one. That might have gotten a touch on the way from Allstrip to get that onto the bar. If it did, it was a special effort to make it. It comes out to a goal kick in the end. Coverage from Finley Stadium begins at 7 p.m. Eastern only on MLS season pass. That one coming up just under 24 hours from now. A lone match on Saturday, a massive Sunday spread. There will be a foul going against Ventura County in favor of Austin. Just a few minutes until we hit. Four minutes of stoppage time. The yellow card was given to Matt Taylor for his frustrations after the free kick was given against his side. Kept in play, Ventura County, making power numbers forward. The shot, oh, it's brilliant! They found an equalizer. What a moment for Eric Hernandez. Energy off the bench to keep it in play. The presence of mind to slow down and the skill to bury this. In the and that will do it for regulation. They come back from two goals down Ventura County do. Bonachera. It's a good penalty. Scott got a hand to it, but it wasn't enough. Well. Another good penalty. Gabriel Arnold, left back, scored first for Austin FC. Now the right back, Sheikh Toure. That's a great save. Brady Scott gets low. Got the left hand to it. It's not a bad penalty. That's a great save. He makes this. They take an advantage after the second round. Lepley sends keeper the wrong way. Puts it in the bottom corner. It's 2-1. Ramirez. The third penalty for Austin. Oh, <laughs> composure personified. Marcus Furkranis against Marcus Alstrup. Furkranis, another good penalty. They miss this one, it opens the door for a winner on the next take. It's Brian Ariano. Mariano, another fantastic penalty. Bibut from the spot, puts it away. They took 11 penalties last time out against Sporting KC. He was the only one who had his miss. The fifth penalty, he has to score. Brilliant penalty, Santian puts it in the top right corner. He's got a chance from the spot to win it. And he puts it away. They come back from two goals down. And on the shootout, they earn the second point. 